Welcome back to another Mazda 3 Turbo video. In today's video, I will be doing an install for the Cork Sport Turbo Inlet Tube. I recommend if you are doing this install and you want to do the oil catch can, you do it at the same time because you've already got this part off. Looks like they've given you an instruction QR code again. Looks like one pipe, charge pipe, a new charge pipe. It looks like the inlet tube. Another tube of some sort. Looks like a downer tube that goes from big to littler, smaller, and the hardware kit. Okay, so they're saying that you need to remove the engine cover, which you can see I've started to. Okay, so remove these two with a 10 millimeter. I've unplugged the mass airflow, which is way down on the bottom in here, if you have the air intake from Cork Sport. I guess I'll remove this guy right here, loosen it so I can get this charge tube, this air tube off here, and loosen it here. It looks like it pulls up from here and here, but the problem now is going to be is my uh, mass airflow uh, zip tied to here. I guess I'll have to uncut that, cut that with my side cuts. Okay, so I just removed the whole box all in one piece, the air box. I undid this, I pulled this out, I cut this off like I said earlier with its zip tie. I pulled it out of these little clipper doodles here that kind of grab around little rubber grommets. There's three of them. Undid these two 10 millimeters. Everything here was 10 millimeter to loosen. In the next step you'll have to remove the battery. It's 10 millimeters on each side. Take the 10 millimeters here, pull it off, take the battery out. Looks like these are 12 millimeters to get these three because the battery tray has to come out as well. On the back of the battery tray are two coolant lines. You may see the two 10 millimeter bolts that will need to be removed and then it sounds like you just push it backwards. Next you will remove the 10 millimeter bolt here holding the turbo inlet pipe. Okay, not sure if you can see it or I will try to let you see it. Do you see this bolt back here? This bolt back here, where my hand is, on the back of the inlet tube, needs undone and this inlet tube needs taken off. For the back side where the turbo is, you will use this coupler. The small end goes to the turbo, the nipple goes up, this goes up. I think it goes like this. I'm going to see, or it may go like this. I will let you know here in a few minutes. And it uses a 10 millimeter to tighten down. So your inlet tube will eventually look like this when you get your end on. The, this side will be for this one. This side will be for this one. And then the cork sport emblem will go up. And it will go back here like this into the turbo. Big nut, small washer with a big bolt. Small bolt, real long or longer with a big washer, a rubber washer. The back side is a big washer and a black nut with nylon. Then you will tighten this down up top here. It will look like this with the back onto the turbo. And now I will put back in the battery and finish the intake and be done.
And this is what it will look like once it is fully installed. In my opinion, this is a worthy upgrade. The sound of the turbo spooling is even louder now. You can even hear it. it makes a whistling sound. I would say this is a much recommended upgrade. <laughs> Thanks for watching today's video. Please like and subscribe as it would greatly be appreciated.